Welcome back everyone. Today you will need the notes you made yesterday on the four sections of information about how you will look after the dragon. I'm going to start with one of these sections and turn it into an information paragraph. So I've chosen my section about food. My notes were sizzling hot sausages, use a fork and keep back, um, that it eats insects with spots on its back, must be crushed and smeared on the floor, and that the dragon needs to be fed every two hours because it gets angry with no food. So now I'm going to turn this into a paragraph about the food the dragon eats. I'm going to take the first one, sizzling hot sausages. I'm going to start, the dragon needs to be served sizzling, comma remember when you split your adjectives, hot sausages and my prepositional phrase, on a fork. I'm going to put the instruction to stand well back. When you do this. Next, I'm going to say that it eats insects. It also eats large, remember my comma again, flying insects, my expanded noun phrase, with spots on their backs. And I'm going to explain how these need to be prepared. These must be crushed up and smeared all over the floor. Remembering to include my prepositional phrase. The final sentence is going to explain that the dragon needs to be fed every two hours. I'm going to make it like a warning. Be warned, the dragon needs food every two hours or it becomes very angry. I'm going to use an exclamation mark to make that clear. Okay, I'm going to just check my paragraph through, check it makes sense and it's in the right tense. The dragon needs to be served sizzling Oh, missed my G there, so I need to remember to put that in with my editing. The dragon needs to be served sizzling hot sausages on a fork. Stand well back when you do this. It also eats large flying insects with spots on their backs. These must be crushed up and smeared all over the floor. Be warned, the dragon needs food every two hours or it becomes very angry. Now have a go at turning your food section notes into a full paragraph. Remember when you've finished that section, check it through like I did. Does it make sense? Is it in the correct tense? Have you checked your spelling? And you have a spelling card in your packs from week one. And have you remembered punctuation such as full stops, capital letters, commas, exclamation marks? Pause the video while you have a go at turning your food section notes into a full paragraph. Now I'd like you to write the remaining three sections of your guidebook. Try and write at least three sentences in each section. Remember to edit your work and check it through carefully. Work hard and try your best. See you tomorrow.